rating the best poppy stores in the county. Are they really the best? You too! What's going on, man? It's your boy Kwa. Back at another video, man. Today, um, it's still the same day, but we're doing two vlogs and one day. So I'm busting out two videos, man. Consistent quads on the is in is in works, man. A consistent quad should be a scary quad. You feel me? So today, we are currently at Bedarby. We're going to be test testing the store out. You know, Philly is really known for our cheesesteak, so you know we gotta we gotta see if this store busting her. And plus, I've got uh, if you watched the vlog before this, um. Or the vlog after this, depending on which one get edited up first and drop. You feel me? Um, I'm just trying to bring out content while the charger in the shop. We're in the daily right now. But this store says ranked four stars. Um, when they first opened, to me, it was shitty. It was shitty eats. Um, but we're about to put it to the test, man. We're about to go in here and order. So right now, we're in the county right now. We're on Marshall Road. Um, let me turn the phone on so I can see it. So we got S8 Brothers Food Market. They're ranked four stars. They got 11 reviews. Um, they got one bad review. But they say best corner store around. Has been out 10 years. Uh, 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 uh. So they got best reviews, man. So we about to put them to the test, man. See if they got good eats. You feel me? Make sure a cheesesteak busting your herd. So we about to go in there. We about to order a cheesesteak. Salt, pepper, ketchup, fries with cheese. And we about to get a bev, you heard? So we about to mac down on this shit. Make sure... We get on camera a little mukbang and see if this shit really busting. So like, like, like the video, and if you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Show love to channel man. Um, rating the best poppy stores in the county. Are they really the best? We shall see. Let's see. Yeah. Care package. We got the care package, man. So, put my bevs in here real quick. But hopefully, these boys fool him with the supposed to hit because, you know, I did say I was going to hit y'all with my here And we were going to test the food to see if it was a good review or not, man. Time. Why is it going to vlog it? So, I told y'all I was going to hit y'all up with like my mom credit, which we are here. We got the food, got the carrot package, I told the dog boys. And I get here, we're gonna show y'all what I was hitting for. Sessie, what you doing, girl? What you doing, girl? What you doing? See your face. Mmm. <laughs> but man, I told y'all I was gonna go my mom crib and show y'all the food we're in for. But my phone like a little weird right now because they keep cutting off like. I don't know, but it's a little hot down here, you feel me? So we gotta cut the air on. So I'll be real precise with it, you feel me? So I'll put the fan on, we still in the trenches, baby. But, um, I'm about to prop this phone up in front of me, back down on the food, feel me? And y'all let me know what y'all think. Well, I can't let y'all, y'all y'all can't let me know what y'all think, but. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, if it's good, it's good. But if it's not, I'm gonna tell y'all dog shit. You feel me? So, I gotta set that. so this camera's on some weird shit. Per usual, camera's on some weird shit. It's acting like it don't want to record. It act like it keep cutting off. So I gotta babysit the camera. Got the bevs. I told y'all to hunt y'all on my mom crib. On my mom crib, got the bevs from the corner store. You feel me? I'm gonna show you how the cheese fries look in. Nigga. 
What the fuck? Oh, the cheese fries. Bro, they already fucking up. What the fuck is that? Now we gotta go in Mom Duke's fridge. Now we gotta go in Mom Duke's fridge to see if she got like some honey mustard or some shit like that. Bro, I ordered cheese fries. These niggas give me fries. These niggas give me motherfucking fries. Bro, these niggas gave me fries with no cheese on it, bro. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with that? What the fuck, bro? But, I'm about to shut y'all back down. Got the honey mustard, bro. You got it. Look, and they don't got the cheese. We're gonna substitute with the honey mustard, you feel me? Feel me? I gotta get it right. Answers in the fridge, like, gotta leave it down. Feel me? Alright. So far, they got one star. So far, they got one star, man. Alright, let's see how the bacon egg and cheese is for it. Let me see how, how is it busting? Does it look like it's busting? Because so far, bro. 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 It's giving mid, bro. Bro. Bacon egg and cheese supposed to open up, break it, it's supposed to be cheesy, bro. What the fuck? Yo, and I know they ain't giving me this big ass container. I know they ain't giving me this big ass container with no fries and like that. If you don't got cheese fries, this bitch is something wrong. Oh, alright. Oh, alright. I'm talking shit. Oh, alright. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so we got the cheese fries, we got the bacon egg and cheese. I'm about to bust the cheese steak open. See how one of them looking. Oh, all right. They forgot my red chili, my, my red chili flakes. Chili flakes, but it's all right. I think mom. I think mom really got some. Feel like doctoring this shit up. We about to just bust straight into it, man. So we gonna start out with the bacon egg and cheese. We got bacon egg and cheese on potato bread. I mean the meat pause, the meat and the uh, slide off the bun. Alright, we got you another bite. We got you another bite. Make sure it's good. You know, we got you another bite. Make sure it's you know what I'm saying it's busting here. Alright, so I don't, my phone was some hating shit. So. I was in the middle of eating the bacon egg and cheese. Um, based off, based off, I'm gonna try to pop my phone up on something as well. But based off the bacon egg and cheese, like, based off the bacon egg and cheese, all right. Mm, I love that. Supreme. I'm about the bacon egg and cheese. Um, my thing is, I got this power and my back tooth will get meat lost in the tooth. If any meat get lost in my tooth, no homo, it hurt. So, based off the meat not being hard, pause. Bad with you right every time. Based off the meat not being hard, pause again. 
scale one to 10, 5.7. Reason why, because they miss the chili, uh, uh, chili seeds and the hot sauce and the honey mustard. Feel me? I know you can't smother the sandwich. You supposed to shake the seeds, little ketchup, little honey mustard. That's it. You feel me? But 5.7 based off taste. You feel me? It's not bad, but it ain't the best. Like it's when I like when I like when I'm talking about bacon, they, like when I'm talking about breakfast sandwiches, when you bust it open, it's supposed to be just cheese. You feel me? A bunch of cheese. Like the fact that y'all being stingy with y'all cheese, y'all gotta you know what I'm saying? Pick it up. But I like that the meat wasn't fried hard, the bread wasn't toasted hard, you feel me? So I'm gonna get a 5.7. Parents, um, we're gonna give it a nine. The parents, and it looks sloppy. It looked well neat, it looked well put together, it ain't crazy. But the taste, like, it's just, like, I don't know, like, like, every every corner store got a different taste in they, in they big and they cheese, you feel me? But, I'm gonna give it a 5.7 off the taste, but the parents were going with a 9. It was very neat, it was appealing to the eye, but it was just missing some, it was missing a little pizzazz, you feel what I'm saying? So, we're gonna move over to the cheese steak. I gotta get on both cameras because my other point came out. So, give it a, I mean, based on appearance, we're gonna give it a nine. Based off taste, 5.7. So, we're gonna go jump into the cheesesteak platter. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, boys. I want a black pepper cheese fries. I feel like he didn't proportion it. I have more cheese than, than ketchup. Um, I'm not gonna draw them. 6.5. Reason why, I said 6.5. No, you know, 6.9. The reason why I say 6.9, fives wasn't soggy, but it's stingy with the cheese, which is more so stingy with the ketchup. The reason why I say that because a lot of times we order cheesesteak pasta from stores, they're stingy with the cheese, but they're, they're, they're grateful with the ketchup. They give you a lot of ketchup and less cheese. You know what I'm saying? Um, this was evenly proportioned. Not gonna lie. Fries and cheese, the ketchup, and the ginger beer. We were even 6.9. It wasn't cinder with the cheese, but the ketchup, they definitely were cinder for it. But, um, I'm gonna give it a I don't know if it's me, but yeah, definitely stingy with the uh, ketchup, but it was, it was not with the cheese. Let me, let me taste it. Let me taste it. Hold on, before we taste it, we gotta crack open the bag. They approved them cheesesteak, y'all. Cheesesteak, I'm gonna give 9.5. Juicy, taste the meat. You pause. Juicy. You taste like the ketchup, the honey mustard. You taste the oil, like it's, it's, it's there. And the bread ain't hard as shit. Now we gotta mix it together, you feel me? Mm hmm. This wallet. Mm hmm. Mm 
God did the shit and the cheese damn it. God, so it's only right. You're not dipping your cheese steak in the cheese? Stripping. Um. Why do this a 9.6? The cheese steak alone? Yeah, look, juicy will fall, juicy will fall on the cheese, say, really? Can't forget my, my crushed cheese peppers, I taste it. Juice falling out the back of the butt, you heard? At the back of the back of the butt, you heard? I ain't gonna lie. This platter alone... The big nigga cheese, I gave it 5.7. They, they cheesesteak platter, overall, because the cheesesteak alone, I'm gonna give it a nine. The fries, I'm gonna give it a seven. The overall platter, I'm gonna give it an eight. The reason why I'm gonna give it an eight is because they was missing, they catch up on the fries, And it wasn't evenly proportioned on the fries. Like that's all they missed. The cheesesteak was a bang, but you know, when you order a cheesesteak plate, you gotta go to cheese fries, the ketchup, the soft pepper. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do the whole, you mean the whole shebang, you right? But this platter was cool. Um and, and right. We won't, we won't. And right. Like, this whole experience. Huh? Ah. Let me dig that lost them back there, not too. That's cool. What happens? Um. This whole experience, like, for the two bev, extra fry, bacon, nigga, cheese, a cheese egg plate, it was $16. You cannot beat that, bro. Um, down north, well, nice town, be exact. I had to pay like $40 for all this. So the price is really reasonable. So the food taste, we're gonna give it a, together, we're gonna give it an eight. Um, bacon, egg, and cheese alone, 5.7. Fries, 6. Cheese stick alone, a 9. These fries, uh, the extra fries I have, let me taste them. Mm. Mm. They're mid, so we're gonna give it a 3. They don't got nothing on. But, Everything's talking about the bacon egg cheese and the cheese chip platter. Combined together plus the meal price we went with the eight. It was cool. Um, like I said, the cheese steak was, was on point, but the bacon egg cheese was missing shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, I'm gonna show y'all in the clips like what I ordered. Like I actually touched the screen in front of y'all. You know what I'm saying? But this food is pretty sorry. Like I classify this as good eats. Okay. So, if we wanna, so I mean, if we wanna back down on some food for the cheap seat, give them a try. On Marshall Roll, S8 Brothers, feel me? Can never go wrong, it's good eat. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I could put my own ketchup on it, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't know if it's mean. 
But Poppy stories, they be having like some secret shit they going on with their with condiments. Like, like, they cheese whiz may not taste like the cheese whiz I put on it. If I, they miss some cheese whiz, I'm gonna go to the market, go buy the canned cheese, you feel know I me? Mean? And they ain't cheese whiz, you know what I'm saying? For example, Wegmans, Honey mustard, Papa's or honey mustard don't taste like this honey mustard. It's, it's a difference, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me know if I'm tripping, yo. Like, you feel me? Like, let me know if I'm, if I'm wilding or something, you know what I'm saying? But this shit was classified as good eats, you feel me? That ain't definitely bang, you feel me? But I'll tell you on the last in this vlog. When we go thrifting, we have to change the light. Young boy stands like, damn. Um. Finger licking. It was cool. I. I can, I feel like you can never go wrong. You got two bevs, extra fry. Cheese steak platter and a bacon egg and cheese for 16 bucks? Bro. Ooh, bro. Um, I'm gonna wake them. I'm gonna put the screenshot in the video at the end of my review. Um, I'm gonna put it in my booty and put it online. And this is the first episode of Taste of Poppy Stories Food. Different hood. So we did it at Upper Derby. Started off right the correct way, you feel me? Um now we're gonna do every hood each. So we're gonna do every hood, but each block, you know what I'm saying? So we in Upper Derby right now doing it. Um, we did towards Marshall Road area. Now we're going to do towards Lansdowne area. And after that, um, we're going to move over to Yada. But I feel like I'm going to do it in the city because niggas ain't, like, I, I, I probably won't do Yada because I feel like niggas in the city ain't going to come all the way up here for a cheese thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is for the county people. Like, you know the county, where to go at, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to do it in the city next. I'll probably do Yada last. Like, that's like my last, last video. But I ain't gonna make this like a food series, bro. Cause I ain't about to get. I'm not. I'm not about to go OD crazy and get OD fat off this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do this shit once in the blue when I'm hungry. So if y'all wanting to see more videos like this and more content, um, y'all have to like, comment, subscribe to the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and share the video. And if you fuck with the video, make sure you subscribe to the video, man. I, I said to this video, subscribe to the channel. You heard? Subscribe to the channel. If you fucking with, if you ever drunk in Arizona for your bad, you heard? Subscribe, you heard? Do the bell! But, um, it's your boy Quag. And we're checking out. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Fuck with y'all boys.